right, good morning YouTube. It's been a long haul up here, but we're on the second, getting close to the second peak. What's this peak called? South Horn. Horn. The Horn. Horn, South Horn in the Bigelows. Then we go down, got Avery Peak. That's the last one. Yep. And uh, we are kicking out hard today. Body is responding okay, but sweating like a pig. <laughs> In, 40, in 45 degree weather. <laughs> All right, a little more South Horn from a more open view. Hey, good. So it looks like uh, Maine is still killing it. Where'd you camp at? Uh, that yeah. viewpoint right before yeah, it. How's it going, eh? The shelter? Yeah, yeah. Hey, trying to sneak by you on your left. You're good. You're good. Where's Katana? Yeah, you keep asking that question. <laughs> We don't know. That's the one there. No. Yeah, we're, the one that's got uh, the long one. Far yeah, away. that has been that mowed. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, just... All right, so this is some of the straight up main gives you. That's where we're headed. Kind of a nice view of Bigelow. We went over back there. Now I'm going up over West Bigelow and then Avery. But uh, gotta put this away because gotta do some hand over hand here. Okay, so wow, what a difference 40 feet make. Right there is where I made that last video. And all we got was a view of that. Now we get this. makes you work for it, but man, it pays off. All right, even more. This is a little higher, same view, but uh, quite spectacular. And I'm pretty sure they're going to head us up that way, and I'm going to get a pretty good view from there, too. Yeah, a little more of this. This is the way up. Looks like I got a little rock craggy scramble there. And uh, this is my feet, and that's not a good place to be. So, head it up. Probably one of the, if not the best 360 view here. This is uh, Bigelow Mountain West. That rock peak right there was what I was filming just a minute ago. Which we came over. from Avery Peak. of Maine.
All right, so this is our little Bigelow view. I thought we were done with the Bigelows with that big monster over there, but uh, I guess we got more. Oh, and big lake. Boy, they could sell some property out here. But then again, that freezes over in the winter, doesn't it? They always close on it. Yeah. One last video to finish out the day. Uh, the Bigelows finished them up. 16 and a half miles. Long, tough day. There is, uh, it's all just up, down, up, down, up, down, and some serious steepness in those ups. That first, uh, first one going northbound was quite a challenge, but then as the day wore on, it got even more challenging. But uh, it was a great, great day. I'm taking a zero tomorrow at the Hostel of Maine to rest these legs. Lotus is uh, going on. Uh, he's uh, <clears throat> going to hike to the Kennebec and then cross the Kennebec the next day and go into Caratunk and take his zero there. So I might catch up to him, might not. We'll see. But. Uh, Right now, I am just uh, one tired puppy. It's been, I don't know how many days since I've had a zero uh, or some time off, so that's well deserved. I can't wait for it. So, I'm gonna get me a good night's sleep tonight. I'm really tired. And uh, wake up tomorrow and I'll be able to upload. I think I've got about four or five videos. Uh, in the can ready to go so I'll uh, get those out and I think I said it earlier but uh, I'll say it again uh, as it up here in Maine there's little to no service so I'm not going to be able to get videos out and then I know when I'm getting a hundred mile wilderness there isn't anything so once I summit I'll uh, post those videos as soon as I get back to somewhere where there's some surface service so all right this is going to be one tired PT signing out. All right, so a guy in the parking lot here just came up and gave us some trail magic. A little cherry coat. Gotta love it. Early Riser's favorite. All right, everybody. Just wanted to uh, give an update on uh, what's happening. I am right now taking a zero at the Hostel of Maine, which is uh, in a little town called Caravasset, right next to Sugarloaf Mountain. Uh, it is a beautiful place. It's uh, ultra clean, super nice. Uh, the people here that run it are uh, well accommodating. They know exactly what hikers need and they do a great job here. So it was a perfect day for me to take a zero. Yesterday, we uh, did a 16 and a half mile slack pack over the Bigelows. Uh, I was with Lotus and uh, Ibex, and at the end of that, we uh, parted ways. Lotus is on a schedule to summit September 1st because it's a special day in his life, and uh, so he had made a plan to do that. So he went ahead forward and I came back to the hostel here to take a zero, listening to my body. So that's what, um, what I did. Tomorrow I'm going to head out from here and go, I think, about 16 miles 
to a shelter that gets me about four or five miles from, or a shelter or a stealth site, try to get four or five miles from the Kennebec River, and then be there first thing in the morning to have the ferry boat uh, come pick me and take me up across the Kennebec and into Caratunk. Uh, from Caratunk, I plan for two nights and three days out on the trail to get to Monson, and then uh, and then from Monson, uh, that's where the 100 mile wilderness starts. So that's what the plans are, and I will uh, get back with you as soon as I can. Just one quick thing, uh, videos from here on out are going to be sketchy because I'm not going to be able to have, you know, once I get to Monson, I'm not going to have any service to post anything. So other than that, uh, all is good, and I'm looking forward to my summit day.